Hello, you are watching Marvel Live. I'm Lorraine Sink, and I'm here with Elizabeth Henstridge from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hello, darling, how are you? Oh, I'm good, nice to see you. Oh, it's so wonderful to get to see your beautiful face and to get to talk with you. We're gonna be talking about Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, but I think, yeah. you know, let's just start this whole live off very, very spicy. Um, I know that you have news to break here with us exclusively right now. So I say, let's do it. What's, do what it is that news? <gasps> the big news, and I'm so glad that it's with you, Lorraine, because I'm just such a huge fan. I love everything that you do, and you're just such a, a wonderful figure within the Marvel Universe. Um, I Yeah, I want to share with you all that I got to direct an episode of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's episode 709, and it's going to air next Wednesday, the 22nd of July. And I'm just, you know, we obviously filmed it so long ago, and we've been keeping it a secret, and I'm so happy to be able to share it now. Oh, finally. <laughs> Finally, we can, we can let go. I now I don't want to talk about what's in the episode yet because sure. you have to watch tonight's episode at 109 Central on ABC, and then you'll watch Elizabeth's episode the following <laughs> yes. Wednesday. But I do want to know how did that come about? How did you find yourself in the director's chair? Um, well, I mean surrounded by very supportive, very encouraging bosses. So all our EPs, Marissa Tancherone, Jed Whedon, Joss Whedon, Jeff Bell, Jeff Loeb, were just uh, very uh, supportive from my dream of directing from the start. I shadowed for years. I shadowed for two, three seasons. Uh, Clark Gregg was one of the uh, first people that was just such a big uh, cheerleader of mine and I shadowed his episodes and Jesse Bochco and a lot of our uh, very established directors that come in quite a lot. I, I got to shadow them um, on an official basis and then really every Every time I wasn't in front of the camera, I was usually asking annoying questions to everybody behind the camera. <laughs> so I think it was fairly clear that I had an interest in that side of things. But yeah, I started shadowing and then kind of um, spoke to the EPs about it and just uh, said my intentions that I would love to do that one day. And they were extremely supportive, but it's also, you know, you have to prove that you really want it and that you're, because uh, it's, it's not an easy job and it's quite a big risk for them to give you an episode to be in charge of. Uh, so yeah, it took it took a it took a few years, but we got there in the end. Uh, it's so exciting to me because I was just thinking about this earlier today. You know, here you are in season seven of Marvel's Agents of Shield, and I think I did the first interview with you for the series because the news wasn't even broken yet. And I think about just like that moment to today is so cool and so exciting. I'm I'm really yeah. curious now gotten to do it, you've gotten to direct, what did you love the most about uh, taking on that job? I think just how talented our entire crew and production team, but also our actors are. You know, I get to, I've gotten to obviously act with the whole team and we are like a family, but you, when you're uh, like looking at, on, at them on the monitor, you just, I was blown away with how incredible everybody is and how every take, these, the the actors on the show are just, well, I mean, clearly I am one, so now I'm just taking my own horn, but I was, just, they were just so brilliant. And you, you know, you really get to see um, all the different directions you can take it in when you've got such rich talent and, you know, to be able, and also they were very supportive and really kind and just, um, yeah, so fun and, and made it such a lovely experience. So I think, yeah, just realizing that like my friends are super talented. <laughs> um, so I have some questions here coming in from social. Uh, how was it shooting an episode while prepping to direct the next one? Which is, that's oh my gosh. And, and what did that workload look like? That is such a good question. And that's one that um, I, so as a director, you spend sort of a week and a half prepping and then you shoot for a week and a half and then you do post for a week and a half. So the, I had shadowed a bit of the prep, but because I was always shooting, you don't get to do as much of it. That was by far the hardest part because you, you know, you're getting the scripts 
Um, no, first you get like the outline, so you don't get the full script, you don't get that till a bit later on, and you're looking at sets, and you get to do casting, and you get to um, help decide how sets are built, and what it looks like, and you know, you're, there's just so much to do, and then, yeah, with shooting as well, it was a pretty full schedule, but they, um, the EPs were so brilliant, and uh, made me quite light acting-wise, the episode before, um, so, but then, yeah, and, and that's the risk, you know, when an actor directs and they are in the show, it's, you're kind of, you're wearing lots of different hats. And then in the episode as well, when you're acting and directing, it's, yeah, it was a whole, it was a whole roller coaster of lessons, but it was, I loved every second of it, but yeah, it was, and that, so the prep schedule is, um, long full days, uh, going on tech scouts and location scouts and um, lots and lots of meetings and then squeezing in some acting in between and then um, yeah all your mornings before and after work are kind of taken up with planning of how you're going to shoot it and how you're going to uh, and this episode you'll see I don't want to tease too much but it's quite different to anything we've done before so we had to shoot it in a whole new way so um, yeah the whole thing was well, I wish I could tell you more, but it was very interesting. <laughs> and and you did mention that you got to direct your friends, and someone does have a question. What was it like to direct your coworkers slash friends? Oh, it was so it was so brilliant. I mean, that I can say this episode is a lot of Daisy, and so to be able to work so closely with Clo in that capacity. I mean, I could just cry thinking about it. It's just that for our friendship and for our just journey together, we've, you know, we both arrived to this show very new. Um, so to have gone that, gone through that together and then for my episode that I got to direct to be Daisy heavy um, was just so brilliant. And it wasn't, you know, it's not by accident. The bosses knew how to, you know, how to make it great for me, you know, lots of Chloe <laughs> Ben. <laughs> That's the best. Well, speaking of your friends, you've been doing something really cool on your YouTube channel. Uh, what, what have you been up to over there? So every uh, Wednesday at 10 p.m., uh, 10, no, 10, 9 central, uh, we do a live watch along on my YouTube channel. And so we'll have, we have the director and the writers, and then we have actors popping by and the EPs popping by. And it's just a, it's just been such an incredible journey having seven seasons. And this is our final season. And I just really wanted to be able to share it as much as possible. And uh, for me, I've been so fortunate to be able to direct and to be able to, um, you know, kind of see how it all happens and meet the incredible writers and other incredible directors that I just wanted to give a chance to introduce those people. And maybe, you know, we talk about stuff that happened behind the scenes and how they got to be where they are. So anybody that is interested in working in the entertainment business or just curious about how it, how it all happens, yeah, come join us at, um, yeah, so we'll do one tonight for the East Coast uh, airing of the show. There you go, and it it continues to play. It's not only live, so if people want to go back and watch those, they can, yeah. right? Yes, and we try and do a countdown every week. So, um, so the point is that maybe you can, when it's available in your country, or if you're watching it later, you can press play at the same time as ours, and then you can watch it alongside commentary. See, there you go. It's just like hanging out with you guys on your on your Wednesday night. Yeah, exactly. We'll just, yeah, we'll be wherever you watch it. We can be together. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, I want to talk about season seven because, oh my God, I, this might be my, honestly, my favorite season yet. I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's a competition for every season because I always love what the big <laughs> arc is of the season. Um, but yeah. this has been so crazy fun with you guys time traveling and doing all these different decades and different genres. So far, what has been your favorite or some of your favorite decades that you've gotten to visit? Oh my gosh. I mean, they've all just been so fun. I think um, last week's with the 80s, I mean, gosh, you just seeing everybody in 80s clothes and hair and neon and leg warmers and then seeing Jeff Ward and his little leather pants and jacket and like high heeled boots it's just it's just what that was such a fun and also 
terrible decade for fashion to see it kind of on everybody all the background artists um that was so fun and then I, don't, I mean, gosh, I'm like you. Every every season I go, oh, this is my favorite. But season seven, <laughs> I really think, is just so fun. But then every episode within the season, I go, oh, yeah, but those costumes are amazing. And um, But, yeah, so that's probably why I think last week's is my favorite because it was the last one I saw. But the 80s was pretty fun. I also quite loved your Peggy Carter cosplay. <gasps> Oh my gosh, how did I not mention that one? I freaked out when I read that in the script. That was so, they custom made that suit. The whole, like the whole everything was just um, so cool. So we, we do have some people tuning in and they're asking, what's the news? What's the news? So I think you should say it again for anybody who got here a little late. They're late to class. Okay. Happily, I'll say it again. Uh, yeah, so we're using this time to announce that I was um, lucky enough to be able to direct episode 709 of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. airing next Wednesday, the 22nd of July. Ta -da! There you go. <laughs> so incredible. I'm so excited for everyone to see it. I've gotten to see a preview of it. I'm going to just say it's really, really cool. Um, oh, yeah, I'm so glad. But no, no spoilers. You have to watch tonight's episode so that you can watch Elizabeth's yeah. episode the following week. But since you have been time traveling this entire season, I felt it would be appropriate if we did a little time traveling now. Um, I want oh. us to take a look back at some of your past seasons, and I want to know the real dirt on what was happening uh, when you were shooting those scenes in real life. So first up, here's a little moment from season one. This was oh. the first moment, pretty much, of the first episode. Oh my god! That's so cute. Yeah, that was from the pilot. Yeah, that was one of the first things that we shot. And um, I think a little bit later I shove a, a cotton swab in Agent Ward's mouth. And I remember just that day being so... Um, just kind of overwhelmed with anything and then thinking, I'm gonna pierce this guy's mouth because you know you try and do it gently and I just thought I'm gonna like I'm quite a clumsy person anyway and I can get quite uh nervous and then just all of a sudden be a bit erratic so I was just so I was so worried that I was gonna hurt his hurt Brett's mouth but anyway it turned out that was fine but yeah that scene was so much back and forth between Fitzsimmons and it I remember feeling that this was going to be something special because we were you know we had so many props to work with and yeah picking up suitcases and arguing and walking around it just it really it felt like I was in some kind of like magical wonderland you two, got, you two do really just have such great chemistry together. It's so fun oh, to watch that from that first moment in that, in that yeah. whole piece. Oh, um, thank you. So let's take a look at uh, this moment from season two. Do you remember this? This is uh, Agent of Hydra. Yes, and that's Adrian Pilecki. Oh, my gosh. I was... Talk about fangirling. I was fangirling on her so hard. And luckily, they started writing it in the script that Simmons just loved her because Elizabeth was just in awe. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was the day that we spent hours running down these corridors. And I mean, Adrienne is extremely fit and amazing at stunts and fighting. And so I was just really trying to not have an asthma attack kind of running behind her, just trying to keep up. And then I'd be so out of breath and she'd do this incredible, yeah, with her sticks, like take out these two guys and wouldn't even, you know, not a bead of sweat on her brow. And I was like dying in the corner, but it was quite, it was quite Simmons. So I got away with it. Well, that moment is so iconic too. And I love that, um, you know, the Bobby Morris moment where you yeah. see her like whip out those batons. It's so cool. Um, and I loved yeah. getting to see Hydra. It was so fun. Um, so we have another moment from season three. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Remember this? Uh oh. The other man. No, that, yeah, so that was on May 5th. Um, 
And that was such a fun one to, Anne Foley was the costume designer for that uh, season. And it was really fun to uh, figure out how we were gonna age the, the costume. And cause we didn't know when shooting the episode that I had that outfit in that we would then need, you know, 10 different um, versions of it. And so figuring out the continuity of that episode and how disheveled I was at different points uh, and yeah, that was a that was one of the only scenes that we shot on set in stages. We built this kind of cave, whereas all the other stuff was shot out in the desert and quarries and crazy heat. Um, but that was so fun because I got to be just a bit mucky and have dust all over me. And it wasn't it was fun to not for my, you know, you have makeup touch ups between takes and it was nice for my touch ups. They basically just had this machine that just blasted me with dirt. Um, so it was a different experience. <laughs> I always think of that scene as I wish I had that cell phone battery. That was the best cell phone battery. I know. <laughs> so yeah, you got to let Fit Simmons just get your phone and upgrade you. Yeah. Um, so we have this <laughs> moment from season four. I love this moment oh. where you're conspired with Quake. Behind, yes, uh, this is back. Yes, this was um, yeah, I, I, this was Sassy Simmons. She was very much like, I'm just gonna go in here and it'll be fine. Um, and I, those, we always, Chloe and I will often go into the writers' room and just beg for really fun scenes together. And I remember before that episode, we said, oh, I can't believe we're not having scenes together. And then that was such a fun episode for Simmons and Daisy. Uh, yeah, and I remember I had these uh, little shoes on that were so cute, but they were absolutely impossible to walk in. And this was a scene that I had, we shot downtown Los Angeles. And I remember just trying to cross the road and look sassy Simmons and like quite a few just real people on the road. Um, I tripped up and it was this whole thing because I couldn't walk in my shoes. <laughs> it's hard to be an easy. Didn't make yeah. <laughs> Um, so I think you're going to remember this one really well. This is from season five, okay. episode 12. Oh my gosh, look, that was so emotional. What an amazing day. I mean, I was so nervous for that day. I, I was like, Ian was really nervous too. And we kind of spoke in the morning, the makeup trailer going, why do I feel so nervous? This isn't real. But it just, it felt, you know, we so often on S.H.I.E.L.D. do these very serious life or death missions. And we just couldn't believe that we were getting to have a lovely idyllic scene and that we would get to the end of it and it would go, you know, it would go smoothly. Uh, and yeah, then this is where we find out, um, about Deke and him being our grandson. And you know, there's a moment where I turn and give my flowers to um, Daisy and I just catch Ming and Chloe's eyes. And it was, it was just, we all had tears in our eyes. And Ming was like, I can't be crying, I'm Agent May, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah, and it was nice to get a, a, a happy scene for Fitzsimmons, that's kind of rare for us. Well, after that rough season of being pulled apart, you deserved you deserved to have a nice, happy <laughs> day. Um, you also deserve to have this nice, happy day from season six. Speaking of you oh. and Chloe. <laughs> that was such a funny episode. Jesse Bochco directed that episode. It was, I mean, we have never had so much fun on set. It, it was, we were running around. I was looking at mice in the carpet. We were hallucinating. It was, that was, I think one of the first just pure comedic episodes that we'd done. And uh, yeah, Joel Stofer who plays Enoch was so funny. Yeah, and that scene was just brilliant because Jesse, the director, just let us go for it. And we were cracking up. And that's another one actually, that all our makeup touch-ups were adding bags under our eyes and red to our eyes and just smearing stuff everywhere. Um, it's very freeing for your touch-ups to be making you look worse. There's something that makes you feel really good. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, but you know what? I'm not gonna let you go because I know there are a lot of Fitzsimmons fans that are wanting to know what's going on. Where is he? What's going on? Are we going to see some Fitz for season seven? Because we're, we're torn apart just like you two have been. 
I know, there's so many questions. Um, so, yes, we're going to find out more about where he is and why. And some of those, uh, some of that information is going to come from Gemma. Uh, in fact, uh, yeah, we'll find out more in the next couple of episodes on that. And then some of the information of where he's been and why will come directly from Fitz. So... You know, that's all I could say. But okay, it's... no spoilers, no no major spoilers. But I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait for it. <laughs> I know everyone else is excited too. Um, everybody's got to watch the episode tonight, and they should watch the watch along with you. Um, again, where can they watch it? Just look up Elizabeth Henstridge on YouTube. Yes, just look up Elizabeth Henstridge. It's on my channel. Um, it's very friendly. It's full of behind the scenes. And uh, yeah, it's just a really positive, lovely way to watch the episode. And we don't really have that many spoilers in it. So if you can't see the episode at the same time we're watching it, it's definitely worth watching along. Or you can watch it later and time it to your viewing. It's just a fun way to, yeah, to get a bit more info on our series. And that's right. And you need to watch tonight's episode of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. at 10, 9 central on ABC so that you can watch the episode that Elizabeth directed next week, the 22nd. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much for doing this, Lorraine. You're just the best. And you're such a beacon, especially for women in Marvel. And uh, yeah, this was exactly the way I wanted to share this news. And uh, yeah, I'm so grateful to you. And thank you guys for watching and for supporting the show. We can't believe that we've gotten to do so many episodes. And it's so lovely to share this last, our final last mission with you guys. Thank you. Uh, you are always a delight. You're incredible. You are love and light in this world. And I'm so lucky to get to talk to you. Please go follow her everywhere you follow human beings on the internet. <laughs> um, thank you so much. And this is Marvel, your universe. <laughs>